Hey, what's going on? So, Q&A Wednesday. What is Q&A Wednesday? It's been so long since my last one. I, I can't even remember the last time I did this. I love like interacting with you. Like I don't even know why Like I went so long without it. I think it's because I've been focusing so much on doing my vlogs and everything and like the storytelling, which is fine and everything. It's just a little just a phase. If you haven't followed me on Instagram at Hados underscore Pettis and then definitely do that because then if you do that, you can send me a DM on there and I can get back to you in videos like today. So let's get into it. When are you traveling to India? Actually, possibly at the end of this year. Does street photography feel a little awkward to you or is it just me? And if it is just me, can you tell me how to make it not awkward? It's not awkward for me because I do a lot more awkward things like vlogging in public. If you haven't tried vlogging in public, then you don't know what's actually awkward. Like no one does. <laughs> I think that like what you your concern about is the opinions of other people. Like if you're taking photos of a random person, like you're too worried that they're gonna be looking at you while you're taking the photos. So it's a little bit like, I understand like what, it, it does feel kind of weird because like you feel like a bit of a creep just like taking photos of random people. And <laughs> like, even I feel that as well. But the thing is, Courage is built when you do something not with the absence of fear, but with fear there itself. So there's always like a, a bit of fear, like talking to the camera, like that's just as how it is. But the thing is I've built up courage over time because the more that I do that in spite, despite, despite or in spite, in spite of the fear being there, like the more courage I build and the easier it is to just get up and just do it kind of thing. So what you need to do is care less about the good or bad opinions of other people and you just need to go out and do it. Who cares? Like at the end of the day, if someone like cracks it at you for taking a photo of them, you can just be like, oh, I'm sorry and delete it. Like what's the worst that could happen? Okay, doing? I'm filming a video. Oh, lovely. Don't open the door. How's life after reaching half a million subscribers on YouTube? It's good for like a little bit. It's like, oh man, like half a million, this is cool and everything. But then it's just like life just gets back to normal and everything. Like it would be the same if like I hit 10 million. Numbers don't matter. The impact on other people is what matters. I want to do photography and videography, but I'm still a student. How do I find content and what camera should I start off as a student? Thanks for answering. I'm Thomas. Thomas, if you can't think of any ideas or anything, just tell a story. That's all you need to do. It can be like the most basic idea. Ideas are actually easy. You can have like the most simple idea, but executing it is the hard part. If you don't execute on it, then you may as well not have an idea in the first place. What's the point of having something in your mind that you're fantasizing about if you can't actually materialize it in real life? Stop overthinking it. You've got ideas as it is. I know you do just execute on what ideas you have. Tell your story. And with camera equipment, it doesn't matter. You can literally just use your phone. Like I'm going to Coachella tomorrow and I'm not allowed to like shoot on my A7S. So I'm gonna be shooting on my iPhone. Like if you have a phone, which I assume you do, if you don't have a phone, then that sucks. I'm, yeah, I can't do anything for you, but I'm sure you do have some sort of camera. It's not about the quality. It's more about the story. No, it's all about the story. How to edit faster while maintaining the quality. Cheers. If you wanna become a fast editor, just like bang, 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 you do it as much as possible and then you get quicker and quicker at it. But there are little things like doing like hot keys and like you can't be a perfectionist. Like you just gotta kind of slap it together and then put it out there, depending on what you do. Like for YouTube, you cannot be a perfectionist or you will die. Do you think with YouTube at its current state, it would be too late or at least difficult to start a YouTube channel? Thanks. It's not difficult to start a YouTube channel. You could literally start a YouTube channel right now if you wanted to, but it is very difficult to make it on YouTube. But that said, that doesn't, that should not discourage you at all from starting a YouTube channel. Like I knew that it was gonna be difficult making it on YouTube, but did that stop me from making a YouTube channel? The thing that's like so awesome about YouTube, apart from the fact that you obviously, you get to have like a positive impact on other people and you get to express yourself creatively. The fact that it's so difficult to succeed on YouTube, if you can succeed, then that makes you value that so much more. Like when I got my 100,000 subscriber silver play button, I nearly started crying because of all of the blood, sweat and tears that I put into my work to get to that point. The hard work is what makes it worth it. When you get burned out of shooting or have a couple frustrating sessions in a row, what's your motivator to push through? Not giving a fuck, like really. Like I know like if I feel like crap, like at the end of the day, who cares? I care about my health so much, but the thing is, the reality is, you're so much stronger than what you think you are. The thing that pushes me through is like, I just say to myself, I don't, I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't care. 
that I feel like shit. I don't care that I'm feeling burnt out. I'm just gonna do it. I get it done, put it out there, and then once it's done, that's when I rest and I let my mind recover. If you could only eat one cereal for the rest of the life, what would it be? Puffins. I love puffins. If you have a spot somewhere in the world you would like to travel to and make a photo of the spot or the place, something like a bucket shot. There's this place in Iceland, like where there's this like abandoned plane. I want to get a photo of that with an aurora in the background. I've always wanted to get that photo. Gotta ask the real question though. Do you eat eggplants? No, I hate eggplants. They taste disgusting. That and potatoes and pumpkin, I just, I don't even know why they exist, to be honest. Maybe they exist so that like when you try them, it makes you appreciate the good things in life. Old jokes aside, how do you deal with, I don't know how to call it, except a creator's dip? I mean, as in when you got no inspiration, don't have the mood for taking photos, etc. This is kind of like writer's block. Like every creator goes through it. It's normal. Like if you think that creating is not for you because you're not inspired or anything, then you're completely wrong because, well, you're not, you might not be right, but like, wait, I just said that twice, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Looking back on your old work or other people's stuff, that can pump you up and everything, but you should never ever rely on inspiration to create. Inspiration comes after you're doing the thing because like once you've made the thing, it's like the joy of creative achievement. At the end of that, that's when inspiration comes and when you get into the flow of creating something. It's more about execution rather than perfection. It's more about execution rather than thinking about it because thinking is the enemy of creativity. I sound like a monk right now. <laughs> it's, but it's true. Like if you want to go out and create something but you're not feeling it, like take my advice and go out and just do it anyway. Like who cares how you're feeling? It doesn't matter. Like if you're feeling great, Awesome, who cares? If you feel like shit, awesome, who cares? You know? Like, it just doesn't matter. You just go out and do it. Anyway, that's the end of the video. If you liked this video, maybe consider liking and subscribing and also follow me on Instagram. If you want, it's it's up to you. You know what to do. It was awesome hanging out with you again and I'll catch you next time.